Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I am going to show you the easiest way to separate numbers and text in a cell in Excel. I made a video a few years ago about the same topic and I covered a lot of other methods such as flash fail or power query or a formula. But in this video, I'm going to show you a new function to do this. And this is by far the easiest way to do this. So let's see how it's done. So here I have this data set and I want to extract the number in this cell and the text value in this cell. And you can see that the data is not completely consistent. There are some spaces here. Now, if your data is consistent or if it is something that you can make consistent, you can use something like a flash fill or power query or even text functions. But I'm going to show you a new Excel function that actually can work with inconsistent data and it is extremely easy to use. And I'm talking about the new regex functions. Now regex stands for regular expression and with the regex functions, you can identify a pattern and then extract it or replace it. So let me show you it in action. So here I'm going to use the regex functions. Now there are three regex functions in Excel, regex extract, regex replace and regex test extract function is going to find a pattern and extract that from here. So in this case, I can identify a pattern where there are all numbers and extract it. With replace, you can find a pattern and replace it. And test is where you can check whether a pattern exists or not. And it is going to give you a true or a false. Now, don't worry too much about these regex functions or creating the pattern because this is not something that you need to remember. I'm going to show you some tricks here, but you do not need to remember anything. You can use any AI tool to actually give you the pattern instantly. So here I'm going to use the regex extract function. Function. The first argument it asks me is the text but that has the data and then it asks for a pattern. Now in this case, see how easy the pattern is. All I'm going to do is in double quotes, I'm going to put backward slash D plus. That's it. Now when I hit enter, it is going to give me the number and it does not matter how long the number is. Any length of numbers is going to be extracted. See if I can just drag it for all these cells and you can see it is giving me all the numbers. It could be any number of characters in that number, any number of digits in that number. And the reason it works is because this pattern here, what this means is when I say backward slash D, it is a pattern that identifies digits. So it is going to come here and it is going to find digits. So let's see if I, let me just change this formula a little and let me remove the plus sign. If I do that, it identifies one digit. So it's looking for one digit. And as soon as it finds a digit, it gives you this. But when I put a plus sign here, it means that it is going to now keep on finding digits till it does not find a non digit character. So in this case, it starts with eight and it is going to keep on going till it's finding those digits and it extracts everything and give it to you. Now, if you want to extract the text part, see how easy it is. All you need to do is instead of small d, just make it capital D. Capital D represents a text character. So now when I hit enter, it gives me the text and I can copy it for all these cells. So you can see how easy this is, despite the fact that my data is not completely consistent. It is so easy. And here, the good thing is if in this case, I have any other thing, any other text. So it's not just these two things. If I add more text here, it would still give me the number here. It still gives me the text that it finds initially. Now, if you want to extract ID and ABC both, you can do that as well as I'm going to show you in the advanced examples. So now let's see a couple of advanced examples of using regex extract and regex replace to quickly extract text and numbers from a cell. So here I have this data set and you can see there is a lot of variation in this data. So I have text followed by numbers here. I have numbers followed by text. Then there are numbers that has text on both side, text with uppercase uh, text and numbers in decimal. And I'm going to extract the numbers and text in these columns. So I'm going to use the regex extract function. And this is the text here. So I'm going to use this cell reference and the pattern in this case is going to be backward slash lowercase d plus. And now when I hit enter, it gives me the number and I can use the same formula for text. But instead of lowercase d, I'm going to use uppercase d. And now I can copy it for all these cells. Now this is fine, but let me show you a couple of variations. So these two cells are fine. But in this one, it gives me ABC here, but I want ABC as well as DEF. And let's say I want ABC and then there is a delimiter in between DEF and ABC. So maybe a dash or a comma. 
So you can do that with the regex extract function. Now, so far we have used two arguments within the regex extract function, but there is another one. And the third argument here, which defaults to zero, it gives you the first matching string in the cell. So in this case, I'm looking for a text character. So it found ABC and then it stopped because then there was one after C. So it, it took ABC and gave it as result. But I can say I want all matching values. And now when I hit enter, it is going to give me all matching values in different cells. And now I can easily combine them. So I can use text join function where I can specify the delimiter. Let's say the delimiter is a dash and this is my formula. And now when I hit enter, it gives me ABC dash DEF. And you can check whether it is going to work with other variations or not. So for example, let's say I have XYZ. And now when I hit enter, it gives me ABC dash DEF dash XYZ. So, you, so regex extract with the third argument makes it so easy to extract all the matching criteria, all the matching characters from a cell and then combine them. Now in this case, I have order 99 pending where pending is in uppercase. So 99 is fine, but in this case, I want to extract only the text that is in uppercase. And this can also be easily done using a regex extract function. So in this case, I have used this pattern, but I will have to change the pattern now because I'm not just extracting a text character. I'm extracting a text character that is in uppercase. So I can use square brackets and within square brackets, I can use a dash Z and these a and Z needs to be in uppercase. And now when I hit enter, it is going to find the first character that matches this criteria. So now when I hit enter, it gives me P, but I want all the characters in a sequence in consecutively that are uppercase. So here I can just come here and add plus, which means that find this pattern and continue finding it till you do not find something else. So now when I hit enter, it gives me pending here. Another thing I want to talk about in this case is what if you do not know the pattern? So there are so many different patterns. There are so many of these characters in regex that it is very difficult for someone to remember everything. In that case, you do not have to worry. You can ask any AI tool. You can use Copilot, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, or any tool that you use, and it should be able to give you the regex pattern because regex has been around for many, many years. So even if the tool does not know that there are regex functions in Excel, it should still be able to help you with the regex pattern. So let me quickly show you an example. Let's go to this AI tool. So this is Claude. This is the tool that I use. But as I said, you can use any AI tool that works for you. Now here I'm going to ask it a question. I want to use a formula in Excel to extract the uppercase characters in a cell. And I want you to give me the regex pattern that I can use in the formula. Now, if you want, you can also specify the formula. So I want to use a regex extract formula, but sometimes the AI tool may not know that the regex extract function is there in Excel. Sometimes it just says that the function is not there in Excel, but it might still help you get the pattern. So let's see what it gives us. So you can see it's giving me the same pattern that I use. Now it doesn't know that the regex extract function is there in Excel, but it has still given me the pattern. And I can come here if you, if it is a long pattern or if you do not understand the pattern, then you can just come here and say, can you please explain the pattern in detail? And now this is going to explain the pattern bit by bit. So it will also help you learn regex better. And then you can uh, try and experiment with these patterns. Now, as I said that there are many different regex patterns, the same thing can be done with multiple patterns. So it will also help you understand. It will also help you ensure that you're using the right pattern and you will be able to create the patterns. Now let's get back to our uh, Excel file here. Now here is an example where I have 25 kg and I want to convert this value into let's say pounds and I want to get the value here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the convert function. And this is the number that I have. So I've already extracted it, but I can, I do not need to use this formula. So I can just use this within the convert function. This is the unit that I have from which I want to convert and I want to convert it into pounds. So I think that is LBM. Now, when I hit enter, it gives me the result here. But as I said, you do not need to have these formulas separately. You can just put it right within the convert function. So here B6 is this function here and this is C6. So now when I hit enter, it gives me 55.11557. Now the good thing is here is that this is text here and I do not need to do anything. I can just come here and use the regex extract function along with convert. And you can see this should work. So if I 
change this to 50 it extracts the number and then it converts it so if you're doing this kind of thing then this regex patterns can save you time now in this example i have uh, the room number and the text room here but what if i want to get the entire room number so i want to get 203 bn or let's say it's just 203 b you can do that and for that we are going to use uh, a regex pattern here so what it does first is it identifies the numbers and extract them and give it to you here but what i also want in this case is anything that is after the number and that is in uppercase so you can use this same pattern that we used earlier and if i just use this it is going to give me one character but if i use a plus here it is going to give me all the uppercase characters see what happens if i hit enter here it gives me 203b but if i have let's say b n here then you can just come here and put a to z in square brackets and plus which means that it is going to find this exact pattern where first it has a string of numbers and then it has these uppercase characters and when it finds this entire thing it is going to give it to you now if the number is somewhere else and the uppercase characters are somewhere else then the pattern does not match so it will not give you the result but it needs to be in the same exact pattern that we have and finally i have this example where it has given me 299 which is the number but what if i just want to get the decimal part not the number part so here i can just change this so i would have this same pattern backward slash uh, lowercase d plus but before that i would say i need to find the pattern where first there is a decimal point and then there is a sequence of numbers so i can just say backward slash dot and i'm doing this because dot in itself uh, means something in regex so dot means i think one character in regex so you cannot just use a dot but you can use a backward slash dot so it would mean that it is going to find this exact character which is a dot and then it is going to find any number of digits that are after the dot so now when i hit enter it gives me 0.99 here so these are some of the examples where I've shown you how to use regex extract to separate numbers and text and I've shown you so many variations so you can extract all the text no matter where it is or only extract uppercase character or only extract decimal numbers and so on. And as I said you do not need to remember the regex patterns you can use any AI tool to learn how these patterns work and also generate these patterns for you. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.